Hi, my name is Howard Fields, and I'm going to talk today about uh, perhaps what is the great Steve Gadd's uh, most imitated uh, performance, and that is his uh, beautiful uh, drum pattern that he created for Paul Simon's 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover. Um, I'm not going to try to teach it to you. That's something you could uh, pick up uh, any number of places. But I am going to demonstrate it, and when I do, I'd like you to keep particular uh, attention on the hi-hat. When you hit the, I hit the hi-hat with my foot, immediately followed by the left hand, that sort of thing. So do keep your eye over there uh, as I demonstrate this. So, in my opinion, what Steve Gadd most prominently did with his 50 Ways uh, drum part was to give the hi-hat played with the left foot its own voice, as opposed to being played on 2 and 4, or 1, 2, 3, and 4, or what have you. What he did in that drum part was put the hi-hat on 1 E and a 2. And if you work out patterns, you could have that being played on one E and a two, or one E and a two, or one E and a two. And in the pattern that I came up with, one, one of many actually, the one that I'm about to demonstrate, the, uh, it's being played on one E and a two E and. So, um, uh, that would sound like this. So I started that out slowly on purpose, and I only played a portion of it at the, at the outset, just to give you the idea. Um, what I'm going to do now is that same pattern, but I'm going to start it on the and of one, as opposed to on one. Um, and that would sound like this. So uh, I'm going to go back to the uh, first pattern I played, and what I'm going to do is play it consecutively. I'm going to go right from one pattern. It's actually uh, five-eighths of a bar long, and um, takes up five-eighth notes. And um, I'm going to just play it consecutive, consecutively, one after the other. And I just sort out different ways to get back to the beginning again. And that sounds like this. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, second pattern I played, which starts on the end of one. It's five-eighths of a bar long, and I'm going to play it consecutively, one, then another, and then I just find a way out of it to get back to the beginning.
really just scratches the surface. The, it's ex totally expansive and limitless what you could do if you just <coughs> do that sort of thing. And I have many sheets written up. I hope you uh, send me an email through my website. Uh, I'd be happy to send some sheets to you. Hope to hear from you. Thank you very much.